can you elaborate a bit more on what were your daily operations when you were, I believe it was the multimedia specialist at Barton Community College? Um, I know it kind of came about because your own personal interest, but you were so good at it, they actually offered you a full-time position. But can you give us a little bit more details about how were you, what were you instructing these community college professors on? How were you instructing them? A little bit more about that teaching experience that you had there. Yes, uh, basically what ended up happening was in the beginning I was just making videos and showing them how to incorporate images into their courses, how to basically create multimedia experience for the students versus just having a static page with just text. That led to actually evaluating the courses and dealing a little bit more with the instructional design side of things and that's the reason why I actually got interested into more of the teaching aspect of it. Mm -hmm. What I see myself doing was actually showing professors other things beyond, hey, this is how this video works. I will try to think as myself as a student, if I'm behind the computer taking that course, how will I feel if I'm taking this course? Will this video motivate me to do this? or this many pictures will motivate or engage me to do this other thing. And one thing led to another one, and I ended up building a video library for them. Uh, when I left, they had almost 3,000 videos in this library. I also made uh, content agreements with uh, the book publishers, so they let us use their videos, and we end up setting up a screencast uh, website through TechSmith for them to use the videos and incorporate them into the LMS that they use, which is eCollege. That led to actually me getting an award because I competed for the staff support technical award for Sidelight, and I got that in 2011. And beyond that, I, I started presenting at these conferences, and that kind of, like I say, had a trickle effect because I started meeting more people and learning different things about the possibilities that you can do with uh, technology in the classroom. Wow, fantastic. It sounds like you had a tremendous impact on Barton and moving them forward, you know, and understanding what technology is and how it can benefit not only professors themselves as instructors, but also the, the people receiving that knowledge, the students themselves. So congratulations on your award. I didn't even know all that stuff about you. So I'm My job here at Barton Community College is to help the faculty uh, understand the use of technology and translate the technology for them. One of the main reasons why I was hired was to increase the use of technology uh, in our distance learning offerings and to implement different technology modalities for the different courses that we teach online. Since I started here, I have worked on several projects and one of the ones that I would like to highlight is the use of screencasts as our video hosting solution for the videos that the professors use in their courses. Since the beginning of my, my time here at Barton Community College, we started out with no videos, and we have currently 1,685 videos in our library. Uh, these videos range in all different subjects for 22 different areas for all the courses that we teach at Barton Community College. I've also uh, implemented um, another use of different technologies in one of our um, language courses, uh, which was one of the courses that was never taught before online and have since me being here, been, uh, it's been taught online. Um, I helped the professor develop the course uh, from the ground up and help her to make her slides into Flash so she can actually let her students learn the pronunciation of the Spanish words from the course without actually having to see her. Another thing that I have helped her to use is uh, the use of VoiceThread, one of um, uh, a Web 2.0 technology that many of you know about. And through the use of VoiceThread, her students can actually give her feedback um, in a form of uh, mini speeches that they have to do and turn in as assignments to her online. Another thing that I have done is uh, I have helped a professor for the first time uh, put a music appreciation course online and for this what I did is I, I developed a course also in Flash 
that the professor uses to have her students listen to the music piece and then turn in their assignment or um, understanding of the piece to her through our LMS, which is eCollege. One of the goals of the grant was to increase uh, the use of technology to 80%. Uh, in the first year alone, I was able to increase the use of technology to 70%, uh, almost reaching the final goal of the five-year grant that we got for Title III. Um, I, I was able to do this uh, through the use of all these different technologies and by facilitating uh, different uh, forums and presentations that I did for faculty. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that I support 75 full-time faculty online and that I also support the faculty at main campus at Great Bend, Kansas, even though that I actually work out of the office in Fort Riley, Kansas.